pretty humid out there this mm -hmm. morning. Yes. Am I right? Okay, I yes. was just and, wasn't sure. <laughs> and, and speaking of cows, today's a big day at the fair. This may be the biggest day yet because it's free after three oh, day. Yeah. Yeah, or free before Four three. three. Yeah. Free before Good. three. So if you go in before three, you save 13 bucks on an adult admission. You get in free. We'll talk about that in a little bit. How about rain? Well, yesterday uh, when Angela and I were on the air, at noon out at the fair, we had some sprinkles falling. We had several occurrences of that. We don't have any of that right now showing up on uh, Doppler 13 radar. And I think that all in all, this is going to be a pretty good day, kind of like yesterday, except more sunshine. Right now, we're at 69 degrees, full moon out there. And how about this? Julia was talking about the humidity. It is very humid, 69, the dew point 68. So the relative humidity is 96%. Now out at the uh, State Fair today, again, it's free before three day. This is the day to go if you want to save some cash. Slow warming, seasonal humidity. And yes, I think that in the heat of the day, we could see a brief spotty shower around. Right now, Lafayette, you're at 68. Columbus, 69, 70 degrees in Shelbyville. And as we go through the day today at the Indiana State Fair, uh, we'll have seasonal temperatures in the 80s just about all afternoon, eventually getting up to 85 at about 4 o'clock today, and that's with that southwesterly breeze. Now, this evening, if you're going out, uh, temperatures will be warm. Remember the tribe play this afternoon. I'll talk about that in the next half hour, but we'll drop into the 70s as we go through the evening. Now, the muggy meter is going to continue to go down just a bit. Tomorrow, our dew points will be in the low 60s, so it won't feel as muggy as, let's say, it is out there right now, but it starts to get uh, hot and humid again as we head into the weekend. All right, let's talk about today. I'm calling for a spotty shower, and one of the things that I noticed with our computer models yesterday, and uh, Angela and I both said this on the air, we thought they overdid it a bit, and they did. Now, this is a look at 3.30. Again, some of these sprinkles or spotty showers like we had yesterday, getting caught up in the atmosphere with this westerly breeze. Look what happens as we go into the overnight hours. The winds will switch. That's why I put these arrows on here. To the northwest. So, Will it be humid? Yeah, kind of. Will it be real humid tomorrow? No. In fact, we'll see some clearing as we move into Friday. Friday, a chance for some scattered storms. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, as a matter of fact. Well, let me just show you here. 85 for a high today and 61 tonight. 82 with a chance for a shower, a couple of spotty showers. Same for Friday. But uh, Friday morning, the low will be right around 60, which is great. How about the weekend? Scattered showers and thunderstorms possible Saturday, Sunday, Monday. But you'll notice that our temperatures all through this seven-day outlook, Scott and Julia, at or above average by a little bit. All right. Looks nice. Thanks.